Hello everyone, welcome back to another creature feature brought to you by the Reptile Zoo. I'm Michael and today I brought one very special guest. I guess all our guests are special though when you think about it, but this guy is just utterly breathtaking. So this is one of our blue iguanas. Now, one of the things I actually found kind of funny is there's actually two different kinds of blue iguanas. There's one that is its own actual species. It looks a little bit more like a rock iguana or a spiny tail iguana. But this is actually more of like the blue phase of a green iguana. But you got to admit, it is just an absolutely gorgeously colored lizard. I just, I can't take my eyes off these guys. It is so pretty. So these guys are found in Central and South America. And uh, of course, they are very different from what you see in the green iguana. They're not that color that would typically blend in with their surroundings. But it is still a very, very beautiful lizard. Uh, you get the different colors of that species of iguana. Of course, you have the typical greens, you get the blues, you get browns, and you can get kind of reddish, orangish colors. So they're a pretty diversely uh, colored uh, species of lizard. And this guy is just a little itty bitty thing right now. But for any of you that have ever had experience with iguanas or have ever really seen iguanas, I mean, they get huge. They're really big lizards. They're not the biggest in the world, but I'd say in lizard families, uh, size-wise overall, they're probably the second largest next to the monitor lizards. Iguanas, uh, males especially, can get about six to seven feet long. Of course, a lot of that is tail. Look at the tail on this guy. You know, really long tail. Great for balance. Uh, it's not prehensile, but they'll use it to help as a counterweight when they're climbing. They're wonderful climbers. They've got those great toes and little claws for uh, grabbing onto the bark of a tree. And they can get pretty high up there too. And uh, for such a big lizard, being that high up, you'd think if they fell, they'd hurt themselves. But you know what? They, they'll fall, they'll, they'll even willingly jump out of a tree if they have to. And really, uh, I've never really seen an iguana get badly injured from that. And uh, it's a good way to help uh, help them escape from a predator. They are fast lizards as well. But if they have to hold their ground, they can. They can puff themselves up and look bigger. And that's what this skin is here for under the neck. That is known as the dewlap. And there's lots of lizards with them, but iguanas have really big, impressive dewlaps, especially the boys. They gotta look the biggest and the most impressive. And if need be, they can even use this tail as a whip. And let me tell you, with how fine that tip is, uh, at this size, it wouldn't really be so bad unless they hit you somewhere sensitive like the face, but on a really big iguana, ooh, it doesn't matter where they hit you, it is gonna hurt. And despite being a vegetarian, feeding mostly on leafy greens and fruits, uh, they do have some very strong jaws and some sharp teeth. Thankfully, this little guy is actually very, very well behaved, uh, and a bite from him really wouldn't be so bad, but a really big iguana... Ouch, that, that's gonna be, that's gonna do a number on you, for sure. So an iguana might not be your first choice of a pet lizard, but you can certainly get them as pets. It's recommended though, you have quite a bit more experience with them, but it is easy to see why people would get these beautiful, beautiful lizards. And uh, you know what? They can be very cuddly, social, friendly. Uh, you gotta spend a lot of time with them, but it can be absolutely worth it having a, a large, friendly, and just beautiful lizard. Like seriously, guys, how, how could you just not fall in love with this guy? Isn't he something else? All right, well, that's it for this episode, but you know what? We've still got more animals we can show you, and if you wanna know what they are, you better watch out for our next episode of Creature Feature. Take care.